This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, a domain, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace and use the discount code Andrew Ma. Welcome to day two of our Kimberley adventures with Matt Fields and Jared Parker. If you haven't yet seen day one of our Kimberley trip, then I'll leave a link in the description below this video. With harsh light and warm temperatures during the day, we spent some time exploring the creeks and the coastline north of Broome. When the temperatures peaked, we tried to find somewhere around Barra Creek to hang out and keep cool. As the tide came in, we got the drones up to see if we could capture some images of the contrasting colours around the creek. Once the afternoon came around, we headed up to James Price Point to find a camp spot and to check out the beach for some landscape photography. Just might do the right thing. Got a nice little shot here just with the rock pool. Uh, it should be in frame, just in front of the camera. And uh, the sun is about to go down. We have had some cloud, but pretty much all of it has disappeared. There's a little bit behind me that's not really gonna feature in the image. The tide is way out. I haven't got any waves like I did the previous night, so I'm not in any rush really. I'm going to grab the my wired shutter release just to plug in there. Let's just make sure that I don't have any camera shake. It's always a tricky to work out which way these go in. And I'll grab the polarizer as well. And I'm going to bring my ND grads also because the sky is much, much brighter than the foreground. It's much brighter at the moment because I've got the sun there. But I'm going to shoot this shot once the sun is down because I don't want the sun in it. But even then, the sun is still going to be much brighter, or well, the sky is going to be much brighter than the foreground. And this shot is all about the foreground. As I said, I've got this rock pool in front of me. It's got a couple of rocks in there, some larger ones. There's a little bit of green moss that might feature quite nicely. I've got these beautiful veins 
that have been created in the sand by the, the draining water with the, the tide going out. I've got the polarizer on, but I've got it so I'm actually getting a reflection off the surface of the water. That's what I want. I'm going to have a six hard grad. If you're not too sure what, uh, what grad you're supposed to have, you get better and better at it when you, uh, the more practice that you have. It's always better to go for the middle one. Go for six, I do. Go for six and if you need something lighter, then go for a 0.3. If you need something darker, you can go for a 0.9. I actually might need something darker. So I'm gonna grab the 0.9. I'll chuck it in the second slot here. And I may just leave, it's quite dark, but it allows me to really bring up that foreground. In actual fact, I don't need the 0.6, so I'll take the 0.6 out. Sticking with the 0.9, that'll give me plenty in the foreground. The sun is pretty much gone. So, I say 64. My f-stop is going to be around about f14 and I'm just going to bring the shutter up until my exposure is right and of course I'm exposing to the right to make sure that I'm not clipping any, any of my highlights and I'm going to focus on the rock right in the foreground and I'll take that shot. What I might do is I might just bring the exposure down just a tad, take another shot. So the shutter speed previously was 1 over 1.3, a slightly darker one was 1 over 1.6. I'll take another one at half a second. It's as simple as that. I'll just take a variety of different uh, shutter speeds just to make sure that uh, I've got uh, a couple of different exposures and then I'm happy with that. It's nice and sharp. I've checked it. The composition is quite simple. The, the pool is in the, the middle with one of the rocks, the foreground rock, pretty much in the center and then it's tailing away a little bit to the left. I've got this sand bank that the rock pool is on, uh, again going from the right hand side through to uh, the left. And what was, I was hoping to have some interest on the horizon, but I don't. So uh, that is as good as it's going to get. Despite not having the uh, clouds uh, in the sky, and it's a fairly clear, clear sky, I'm happy with the shot. I'll show it to you now. This area around Broome is, for me anyway, all about these beautiful red cliffs. So I wanted to make sure that I grabbed a seascape or a landscape featuring these red cliffs, um, if not in the foreground, at least in the background. They're probably more suited in the background because they're just so, so vast. These cliffs are beautiful. They're deep, deep red and how they contrast with either the green of the bushland, the the white of the sand beach or when the water is up, the um, incredible blues of the water, the contrast is just amazing. We've been enjoying exploring the coast with the drones, particularly these cliffs, and we've been taking just some incredible footage of the red cliffs as well as some stills. So what I've done here is I've positioned the camera with these three rocks and I'm pretty much looking at the face of these just amazing, amazing red cliffs. So I've positioned it so that the three rocks in front of me, there's some symmetry there. We've got the smaller one down at the front and then there's two slightly larger ones at the back there. 
that's some foreground interest and of course your eye is then immediately drawn uh, along with the, the veins in the sand up to the red cliffs in the background. Now the red cliffs only feature um, very, very uh, small obviously because they're so far away. Uh, I was looking for some foreground interest that was a little bit closer to the red cliffs uh, but there's nothing between this far back and then right up against the cliffs so close that um, you can barely, uh, you can only make out just a, a small amount of the cliffs in the image. So I've just gone with, with this shot here. It still features the, the cliffs and there's some nice foreground uh, as well. And I'm getting a, some nice ambient light that's obviously coming from the sun just behind you, hitting the sand, the cliffs, and just the side uh, face of these rocks here as well. So I, uh, I really am enjoying this image, really happy with it. Just going to play around with the polarizer a little bit, just to make sure that it is giving me the effect that I want. I think that's pretty much it there. Okay, so I've already taken one shot. Um, while I've been talking to you, the light has fallen a little, a little bit. I'm just going to focus on one of the rocks. I'm going to bring down my aperture nice and small because I have got the rocks in the foreground and then the cliffs. I may actually take two shots for this and just focus stack one shot for the rocks and one for the cliff. But at the moment I'm focused on the rocks. My shutter speed is going to be quite long, 30 seconds in actual fact. So I will take that with the uh, remote shutter so I'm not shaking the camera and we'll just let that fire off. I think I will after this take another shot and focus on the cliffs just to make sure that they are in focus but I'm, I'm really happy with this shot. It's a, a nice shot that features the red cliffs uh, and then a nice little bit of foreground uh, just, to, just to anchor the image as well. Once that's done I'll show you. Before I share the final images of the evening, I just want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that makes creating and hosting a website simple and straightforward. I started my website so that I had a place where I could share my images. Setting up portfolios and galleries is very quick in Squarespace with their beautifully designed gallery layouts and the ability to just drag and drop your images where you want them. No coding required, and my images look fantastic on mobile, tablet, and desktop. Once I had my portfolio online, I started playing around with some of the blogging tools available on the platform. I create blog posts to supplement the videos I create here on YouTube. Squarespace makes it easy to share images or videos, categorize posts, as well as schedule when they're available. You can check them out at squarespace.com where you can start your free trial today. Once you're set up and you're ready to launch your website, make sure you go to squarespace.com forward slash Andrew Ma to get 10% off your first purchase. Yeah, I really like that. Um, that's a strong foreground and then just to be able to have those red cliffs in the background is sensational. Really, really happy with that. Thanks to everybody over at Patreon. Your support makes it possible to create videos like this about my landscape photography adventures. You can check out the community over there at patreon.com forward slash Andrew Ma. I hope your next photography adventure is not too far away. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.